The Secretary General this morning in Geneva addressed the World Climate Conference and he emphasized to delegates the need to strike an ambitious, comprehensive and fair deal at this December's Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen. He discussed his visit this week to the Arctic region, saying that the Arctic is warming faster than anywhere else on Earth and may be virtually ice-free by the year 2030. He emphasized the five key areas needed for action. They involve the needs to adopt to the inevitable impacts of climate change, for ambitious midterm mitigation targets by developed countries, for developing countries to act to slow the growth of their emissions, for predictable financial and technological support, and for all institutional arrangements and governance structures under a new climate regime to address the needs of developing countries. We have that statement upstairs. The Secretary General later said at a press conference in Geneva that our foot is stuck on the gas pedal, we have to pull it off. In two weeks, in two weeks he noted, the United Nations will convene a climate change summit in New York. He added, I expect candid and constructive discussions. I expect serious bridge building. I expect strong outcomes, he said. We now have the full, tra full transcript of that press conference upstairs. And today at the World Climate Conference in Geneva, more than 2,000 climate scientists, experts and decision makers established a global framework for climate services. The point of the framework is to strengthen production, availability, delivery and application of science-based climate prediction and services. Michel Jarreau, the head of the World Meteorological Organization, which is convening the conference, said today was a landmark day for making climate services available to all people, but the work has just begun, he added. Meanwhile, the Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, John Holmes, noted that climate change is now a major driver of natural disasters.